I Dr. Pallavi Patil today discuss about bioprocess calculation the broader objective of this course is to study material balance and energy balance material balance and energy balance for different unit processes initially we discuss material balances without reaction we discuss thermodynamic preliminaries steady state and equilibrium law of conservation of mass general mass balance equation procedure for material balance calculation and different case studies for material balance and energy balance initially we discuss few of the thermodynamic preliminaries like first one is system and surrounding a system consists of any matter identified for investigation and remaining is surrounding if the boundary does not allow mass to pass from system to surrounding and vice versa the system is closed system with constant mass conversely a system able to exchange mass with its surrounding is an open system a process causes changes in the system or surrounding the process can be classified as a batch process semi batch process fade batch process continuous process a batch process operates in a closed system all materials are added to the system at the start of the process the system is then closed and products removed only when the process is complete second one a semi batch process which allows either input or output of the mass but not both a fade batch process allows input of material to the system but not output a continuous process allows matter to flow in and out of the system how we differentiate steady state processes and equilibrium process if all properties of the system such as temperature pressure concentration volume mass etc do not vary with time the process is said to be at steady state and if a system at equilibrium is one in which all opposing processes are exactly counterbalance so that the properties of the system do not change with time based on above concept can you answer this question is it possible to operate batch fed batch semi batch and continuous processes under steady state conditions as we have discussed right now the definition of steady state fed fed batch batch and semi batch processes cannot operate under steady state condition because mass of the system is either increasing or decreasing with time during the fed batch and semi batch processes in batch processes even though the total mass is constant changes occurring inside the system cause the system properties to vary with time such processes are called transient or unsteady state processes it is usual to run continuous process as close to steady state as possible however unsteady state conditions will exist during the startup of the process and for some time after any change in operating conditions next point is law of conservation of mass mass is neither created nor destroyed during a chemical reaction this provides a fundamental basis for performing any material balance problem here the figure shows a system in which the glucose in entering and leaving the system the glucose enters the system with a mass flow rate mi in kg per hour and glucose leave the system m not 
in kg per hour. If mi is not equal to m m not, then there are different possible explanations. One is the mass accumulated within the system. The measurement of mi and m not are wrong. The system has a leak. The glucose is generated or consumed within the system. Each suppose system has no leak and the measurement of mi and m not are correct, then in that case, the mass balance equation can be written as mass in minus mass out plus mass generated is equal to accumulation. Once again, I will repeat mass in minus mass out plus mass generated minus mass consumed is equal to accumulation. If suppose there is a no reaction in the system, then in that case mass generated and mass consumed terms are equal to 0. And if the system is at steady state, then accumulation is equal to 0. Then in that case, the simple mass balance equation can be written for the system is mass in is equal to mass out. Thank you.